So I'm pretty excited about today's video. Today we got fishing chef here, Chen Si. He's got a YouTube guys. channel, check it out. It's pretty good West Coast videos. We got two goals today. One is to limit for both of us on Dungeness Crab. So that means 10 crab each. We've got eight crab pods. We're gonna stay close to shore, it's pretty rough out there. And we're gonna check them every half hour. Because when people go crab snaring, they check their lines every 10 minutes or so. So I think every half hour will be good enough time to check these. We got mackerel, chicken, squid, and chicken feet. And you just got squid, right? All right, that's it. So yeah, let's get out. Get out let's of the harbor. Go. Let's go. <laughs> So I forgot to mention the second goal, and that's actually the whole reason for this video, is a comparison between Dungeness Crab and Rock Crab. So I think it's going to be easy to catch Rock Crab, the only challenge might be Dungeness Crab, but with all so many pots, it shouldn't be that hard. Alright, let's drop the first one, huh? Alright. So this one has some squid, some chicken feet right chicken there. Chicken feet. <laughs> that's new. <laughs> yeah. So I put the chicken on the outside, hopefully if any crab come by, they'll just munch on that and make them stick around a little bit. There goes the pod. So it's 9.25 right now. 30 minutes yeah, for every pod. Can we check the first one at 10? Yeah. This is our fifth pod now. All right, that's all the pot. And it's 9.35, so it's been 10 minutes. So what do you want to do now? Should we snare? Snare. Let's try to snare, all right. So I, I think there's no limit, correct me if I'm wrong, but as long as you're not in the bay and you're not going for rockfish or something specific like that, you can use as many rods as you want. You can use as many crab pods as you want. So we've got eight crab pods, and I've got two rods for crab snaring. Chenchi's got one for crab snaring, so uh, just squid? Yeah, squid. Okay, let's do it. I think I'm just gonna leave the bale open, so in case we drift, then the line will go out and then the crab snare will move. Good. No fishing today at all, just 100% yeah. all my effort into crabbing. You're from here, right? Yeah, I'm from San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody asks me what's my ethnicity. Yeah, what is it? Actually, I don't know. It's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check this one. Yeah. So let's see. All right, so with crab snares, we can make sure our drag is tight, all the way tight. And here we go, first one. Here it goes. Nothing. Nothing. It looks like something was chewing on it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, something was pulling it. So maybe you just missed him. All right, Chensi, let's see what you got, man. Yeah, let's see. Nope. Oh, super light. First pull, half an hour. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, Should we move spots? Should yeah. Go a little deeper? Yeah, let's go. This is my best pot. This is my lucky pot. Let's see if we get something. Right. Oh, I see dungeness. Ooh! Hey, lucky! Lucky pot works! Oh, yeah. uh, a keeper! Uh, I don't know. Looks like it. No? Maybe. Oh my close. god, nice! Might be close. Keeper, keeper. I think I'm sure this is a keeper. Alright, come on. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only first keeper, lucky pot. <laughs> Alright, we can do the taste test at least. Now, let's do goal number two limit, limit yeah. out. Man, I'm kinda, I kind of like this spot. I think we should go a little bit yeah. farther and drop these again. Yeah, sounds good. See, once we start pulling pots, then we just. In a cycle. Uh, yeah, huh? in a cycle, no time to rest. Yeah. Clean too. 
Look at that. Nice. Oh, this one's on bottom. Wow. One on top, one on bottom. Is it heavy? Uh, feels like there's something there. Good. Ooh, I see one big one. Whoa. Okay. Keeper for sure. Yeah, for sure. All right. That's good. One. Yeah, another one. And measure him? Yeah. Oh, my God. Look. Yeah, man. I'm just going to drop this one again. Oh, yeah. This is way... This is six... Almost six and a quarter. Nice. Well, I'm not going to bore you with the monotony of pulling and dropping crab pots and not getting anything. We ended up with only two Dungeness crab that day and about 20 rock crab. We thought maybe it was the short soak times that were not getting us the crab, so we dropped the pots, let them soak for at least an hour while we came in and did the Dungeness crab rock crab taste test. I was expecting to catch a lot more crab, so I brought this big propane tank. I'm gonna steam the crab, a little bit of water here. We got all the crab in here, four different kinds. So we got two Dungeness crab, Chinchi's gonna eat one and I'm gonna eat one. Then we've also got a red rock crab, which looks like this. Very distinct red color. And then we've also got these this brown rock crab. Let me see if I can grab it without getting pinched myself. So that's the brown rock crab. Look how big his claws are. Big, round, meaty claws. That's the red rock crab. A little bit different, less smooth. And this is the top of the line, Dungeness crab. All males. So this should be pretty interesting to see how they taste. All right, so I just scrubbed these crab down. Now they're looking nice and fresh. Usually I like to boil the crab, but Chensi prefers to steam them because he says if you steam them, it retains a lot more of the natural crab flavor. So I'll give that a try and also keep the crab butter in it. So this steam is boiling hard. So we just put it in there, cover it up. And within a matter of seconds, they'll be dead and cooking. Oh, that smells great. Yeah. You think cooking it together is going to change the flavor? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's going to mix, infuse the flavor of the two. I feel like the rock crab is more flaky. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Dungeonous crab is more like soft. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, Dungeonous, Dungeonous crab just yield more more meat in, in ratio. Yeah, than, oh, for, by, yeah. yeah, it's like 10 times more. Yeah, 10 times legs. more. Look at that yeah. glistening red Dungeness crab right there. Mmm, lunch, crab lunch. All right, crab is ready. Just missing one thing, a little bit of butter. Let's melt that up. The whole stick, like usual. <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, I feel like you're the master crab eater, so show me how you do it. <laughs> yeah, let's try the meat. Yeah, right. so one claw each? Yeah. Okay, we got the claws. Okay, so this is the brown rock crab. Yeah. So my original thought of rock crab being more kind of flaky is true on this one. The meat breaks apart a lot mm. easier mm. than Dungeons crab. Let me show you up close. Compared to how Dungeons crab tastes in the past for me, this is not as sweet. Not as sweet. But look, at, look closely, you can see it's kind of flaky like that. And that's how it tastes too. Pretty good though. All right, what would you try next? When you try next, red or dungy? I'm gonna open this one. Okay. Let's one. see if there's some butter. Male butter is the yellow part. I don't like. I like the red red butter better. Just red butter? Yeah. There's oh. a difference. Really? Yeah. Oh, so that's actually the eggs. Yeah. Like oh, the butter is like the, actually their eggs. So would you guys eat this? Would you guys eat that right there? Would you eat this? No. Well, I could eat it, but I tend not to eat it. I prefer the red with the eggs better. Is it just because it's too rich or what? Mm, not sure. I like the texture of, on the red and the flavor on the red. Okay, but if you were to eat it, what would you eat? Oh, good question. So if you were to eat it, you want to um, take off this area because there's a... So you take off the... This whole... Yeah. Well, you that. want... You want to eat this part and this part, and don't eat the middle. The guts and the, the heart and all their organ is over here, but you could eat this, the sides. That's what I would eat. For you guys, try it. <laughs> what do you think it's gonna taste like, super fishy? Oh. <laughs> no? No. 
You want some? Nah. I like the red ones. Like if you were to eat the red one, I think you you will you will like it. Okay. Try that next time. Yeah. But look at this. I got this out of the Dungeness Crab. <laughs> look at that, man. That's just from from part of the claw. Let's break that open. You can see it's not as like flaky. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but this is like a more tender, softer. So I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, this one is full, and you you could tell that when when these crabs have a lot of meat, their shell will be really hard. That means they haven't molted yet. If the crab shell is hard, they probably have just molted, and they're just growing back that new shell. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, way different. I feel like it did get contaminated a little bit, cross-contaminated from yep, all of them. Definitely, when you cook them together, yeah. yeah. But I think this one is still slightly more sweet, even though it is all savory with all the water. Mm -hmm. Crab is like my favorite seafood. Yeah, yeah. yeah you crab more. and ramen all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's so good when, it, when you are out there crabbing and it's super cold, like hot soup, crabs, oh. Yeah. 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 Check out his channel. He's got a lot of recipes at night for some reason. I feel like you you fish too long and then it's nighttime and you just can't yeah. cook. And don't cook it too long. If you cook it too long, the I know I noticed that on the raw crab, if you cook it too long, the meat will stick to the uh, the shells. This one's a lot fatter, fuller. That's actually more sweet than the dungeon crab. Yeah. I think this was not as good. It's, maybe it's like it just molted and nutritional wise they're not together yet maybe yeah and this one is so full so good i like this one better than mm -hmm. the dungeon crab this one is yeah yeah it's a little sweeter and the the it's still kind of that hard firm more firm texture the rock crab are a more firm texture but with a little bit of butter Ooh. i don't know i prefer the texture of the dungeon crab but the flavor of this this one is really good so i just popped this off one of the dungeons crab and i asked chen si would he eat it he said he'd give this a try so so well, yeah, what would you eat on this one so just same thing don't just don't eat the middle okay you never want to eat this part okay um just go for the sides go ahead yeah not bad not bad yeah i like the i still like the red red butter better like that yeah Oh, so bitter. Yeah, a little bit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> is that how the red roe tastes? No, totally different. Oh, red okay. roe is kind of starchy, texture-wise. Huh. Uh -huh. So good. I think I'll just stick to the meat. <laughs> so when you get a good crab, hard shell, this is what you get from one of the lakes. That's all meat right there. You just dip that in. The butter, a little sourdough bread, one of the best proteins on earth. I still gotta say, I don't understand how a crustacean or how any kind of creature can be so naturally sweet. It's just amazing. I think the only reason why I prefer dungeon crab is because there's so much more meat. Yeah. If rock crab had the same legs, I feel like <laughs> everybody would get rock, rock crab. crab. Yeah. Because it's not even just the legs or the claws, it's the middle section. Yeah, the too. body too. Yeah. If, if you were to choose between a uh, lobster and crab, they would go for lobster because they're saying lobster, you just peel, like you get the whole tail and it's all meat, but so crab, you, there's so much more work for you to, to get them. Comparing raw crab to Dungeness, the body ratio, the meat ratio is so much different, so people will prefer the one with fuller content. It's probably at least four times as much. About yeah. Times. Usually I wouldn't keep rock crab, but I think from now on, if I go out and I get a big one, like a seven inch one with big claws, I'm going to start keeping those from now on. Um, but yeah, we'll be out back out there in the water. Hopefully get some, some more keeper dungeons or big red rock crabs. You remember where the pots are? Are we going to get the ones in the bay? Oh yeah, I forgot we even had these here. <laughs> So all we have out there are two cages and two conicals. Yes. And they're all in the same area. Rock crab. Two. Oh, Dungeness. I see one. Two. Yeah. Oh, female one. 
Yeah. With a lot of eggs. This is a good one. No way. We can keep the rock. It's a female with eggs. Yeah. Super cool. A lot of eggs. Okay. 